Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Home Improvement. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Home Improvement is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Home Improvement. Sherry Hersey was born in 1956. In the sitcom, she played Eileen Markham. In 1993, when it was in the sitcom, she was 37 years old, and now she's 67. Good news, Al's here. Oh, good. Great, great. Well, uh, I guess that means that I, I'll be getting married soon. <laughs> Heidi, I need you for a picture. To South Carolina ETV, which was the home of a lot of really popular PBS kids programming. And Polly Costco mentored me. Richard Kahn was born in 1956 in the sitcom he plays Al Borland. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 35, and now he's 68. Full household hint, I'm going to show the audience something you don't ordinarily do with a potato. You might want to keep the kids away from the TV set. <laughs> Dinner shift. Yeah. You know, makes sense to carpool, same to planet, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, just kidding, environmental regulations are job killer. Pamela Anderson was born in 1967. In the sitcom, she played Lisa. In 1991, when she was in the sitcom, she was 24. And now she's 56. Smokes! Yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> I haven't talked to you in such a long time. You look great. So do you, but um, something's different. Um, no bandages. But um, I used to love it when I used to go to the Palms. They would take the L out when I was in residence and call it Pams. <laughs> David LaChapelle and I would go to... Oh, Hinman was born in 1942. In the sitcom, he played Wilson Wilson Jr. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 49. Sadly, he passed away on December 29, 2003, at 61. Coming out my ears. <laughs> Wilson, I don't mean to get personal or anything, but why are you wearing that? Well, I know it's a tad unusual, Jill, but I... I now, I'm gonna live for a long, long time. Did your dad die when you were a kid? That doesn't mean anything's gonna happen to me. Patricia Richardson was born in 1951. In the sitcom, she played Jill Taylor. In 1991, when she was in the sitcom, she was 40 years old, and now she's 73. Not a problem. I would feel a lot better if you would say, I'll do the best I can. You want me to say, I'll do the best I can? Some of home improvement. Really? Mm-hmm. So that's what I did, because I was, you know, the cancer episode was mine. It came from my son having a big thyroid cancer. Mikey Jones was born in 1941. In the sitcom, he played Pete Bilker. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 50 years old, and sadly passed away on February 7, 2018, at 76. Accident with a rivet. Well, you see, Tim, I was so excited about coming back on your show, I let one of those red-hot rivets slip. That Bob's favorite songwriter is Arlo Guthrie, but it's not Arlo Guthrie. It's Hank Williams. No. I happen to think Hank Williams. Tim Allen was born in 1953. In the sitcom, he plays Tim Taylor. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38, and now he's 70 years old. A busy day today. Al and I are going to rough in that house, finish hanging that garage door, but first, we're going to install a twin sort of deadbolt security lock in this door. Morning, Al. Morning, Tim. Always to get that second stanza, but I want you to sell, sell it. Willie, Willie yeah, Shakespeare. Willie Shakespeare. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No I want you to come Will towards Bill. me, and you got to beg. For, I'm a... Jonathan Taylor Thomas was born in 1981. In the sitcom, he plays Randy Taylor. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 10 years old, and now he's 42. You know, I was just doing some research on Benford for my article. Did you read those pamphlets I gave you? Well, yeah, but then I got on the internet and got Pollution Watch's top ten list for Detroit. Travel across the U.S. and showcase uh, one dude ranch, one guest ranch, and show you everything you can do uh, in a week. Um... Blake Clark was born in 1946. In the sitcom, he plays Harry. 
In 1994, when he was in the sitcom, he was 48, and now he's 78. They didn't take any hours <laughs> away from the younger, prettier waitress. She's 60 years old. <laughs> they didn't take any of her time because she's nicer than I don't remember his agent's name, but he was going to try to hook me up with his agent. And his agent said, uh, what are you going to do with that southern accent? Zachary Ty Bryan was born in 1981. In the sitcom, he played Brad Taylor. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 10 years old, and now he's 42. Pick the place. Uh, actually, about tonight, I told some guys I'd go out and celebrate with him if I passed. Oh! You don't mind, do you, honey? I guess not. So, where are we going? You're taught is... It's the fans that make you who you are. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of those fans are watching in middle America, so it's kind of interesting to me to see them kind of make it so... Tara Noah Smith was born in 1984. In the sitcom, he plays Mark Taylor. In 1991, when he was in the sitcom, he was 7 years old, and now he's 39. Hardest thing about being a kid, especially in the business, is um, they want you to act like an adult, but you get the rights of a kid. William O'Leary was born in 1957. In the sitcom, he plays Marty Taylor. In 1994, when he was in the sitcom, he was 37, and now he's 66. Well, we went into counseling to try to fix the marriage, but uh, we both realized we were just looking for a way out. Debbie Dunning was born in 1966. In the sitcom, she played Heidi Keppert. In 1992, when she was in the sitcom, she was 26, and now she's 57. Just like your job, Al. <laughs> in one day, out the other. Now, finally, for the man without a vice, a vice. When we reflect on the incredible journey of home improvement that took place between 1991 and 1999, witnessing the growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.